Here we go again. Manchester United has reportedly reignited its interest in Barcelona's midfielder, Frankie de Jong, and is considering a sensational swap deal involving their winger, Jadon Sancho. As the summer transfer window inches closer to its end, the Red Devils are still actively seeking to strengthen their midfield options, and de Jong has once again emerged as a prime target. According to sources, Manchester United is keen to offer Jadon Sancho in a swap deal to bring Frankie de Jong to Old Trafford. Sancho, who joined United from Borussia Dortmund in 2021 for a fee of around 73 millions of pounds, has had a mixed spell at the club. Despite his undeniable talent, the English winger has struggled to find consistent form, leading to speculation about his future at the club. On the other hand, Frankie de Jong has been a long-standing target for Manchester United. The Dutch midfielder, known for his composure, vision, and ability to dictate the tempo of a game, was heavily linked with a move to United last summer. However, despite intense speculation, de Jong chose to remain at Barcelona, where he has continued to be a key player under manager Xavi Hernandez. United's pursuit of de Jong reflects their ambition to build a midfield capable of competing at the highest level. With the departure of Fred and the uncertainty surrounding Scott McTominay's future, United manager Eric Ten Hag is eager to add a world-class midfielder to partner Casemiro and Bruno Fernandes in the heart of the pitch. While de Jong remains a priority, Manchester United is also exploring other midfield options. Reports suggest that the club has been monitoring Manuel Ugarte and Sander Berge. Manuel Ugarte, a Uruguayan international, has caught the eye with his performances where he has established himself as one of the top young midfielders. His ability to break up play and cover ground has drawn comparisons to Casemiro, making him an attractive option for United. Sander Berge, meanwhile, has been a standout performer. The Norwegian midfielder's physical presence, combined with his ability to drive forward and contribute both defensively and offensively, makes him an intriguing option for Ten Hag as he looks to add depth to his midfield. The potential swap deal involving Jadon Sancho and Frankie de Jong is a clear indication of Manchester United's intent to reshape their squad and compete for top honors in the upcoming season. While the prospect of losing Sancho might concern some fans, the acquisition of a world-class midfielder like de Jong could be the key to unlocking the full potential of United's midfield. As the transfer window draws to a close, it will be interesting to see whether this proposed deal comes to fruition or if United turns their attention to other targets like Ugarte and Berg. One thing is certain. Eric Ten Hag is determined to assemble a squad capable of challenging for silverware on all fronts. Meanwhile, Man United's backroom shakeup has seen Darren Fletcher take up a new role. Sir Dave Brailsford has been entrusted to carry out Sir Jim Ratcliffe's plans alongside Ineos Sports Chief Executive Jean-Claude Blanc. The ruthless process has seen 250 staff made redundant as the new regime try to cut costs. And club icon Fletcher, 40, has been reassigned from his position as a technical director to a first-team coach role. The Athletic report that Fletcher will be responsible for helping academy players transition into the first team. Rene Haik and Ruud van Nistelrooy have also been brought in as assistant managers, with Andreas Georgsen named a first-team coach. On the other side, Jadon Sancho's future could hold the key to Man United hijacking Liverpool's move for Valencia goalkeeper Georgi Mamardashvili. It is understood Liverpool have already agreed personal terms with Mamardashvili, 23, who starred for Georgia in their run to the last 16 of Euro 2024. The deal could be the first signing of the Arnie Slot era, but sources say the shootstopper is also very much open to a move to Old Trafford. United, who beat visitors Fulham 1-0 on Friday night in the Premier League season opener, are longtime admirers of Mamardashvili, but need to trim their squad before bringing in new faces. And the sale of winger Sancho, 24, who was banished back to Dortmund on loan in January after a bitter fallout with boss Eric Ten Hag, would give United significant room for maneuver. Sancho's position remains uncertain, with Chelsea among those said to be interested in him, while he has also been linked with a swap deal to Paris Saint-Germain, which would see Manuel Ugarte head to Old Trafford.
Despite his absence on Friday night, Ten Hag stressed his absence from the squad for the Fulham game was only due to an ear infection. With superstar forward Kylian Mbappe now at Real Madrid, reinforcements are needed out wide at PSG, and Sancho, once touted to be one of Europe's great wide men, has caught their eye. The only issue surrounding the deal may be United's lack of PSR wiggle room, as they have already spent big on Lenny Yoro, Xerxy, and Delict during this window, so a sale would be preferable. The deal remains an unlikely one, but it could develop amid talks that reportedly began two weeks ago. So, Mamardashvili joined Valencia, initially on loan, in the summer of 2021 from Dinamo Tbilisi, in his native country, and still has three years left on his contract with the La Liga club. Meanwhile, Casemiro has launched his bid to revive his Man United career in style. But Sancho's future is up in the air again, after he was left out of United's squad for Friday's 1-0 win over Fulham. Many reckoned midfielder Casemiro would be eased out after his challenging 2023-24. But Old Trafford boss Eric Ten Hag praised the Brazilians' all-round contribution against the Cottagers, especially in helping the Red Devils keep a clean sheet. Ten Hag said, he was very important in and out of possession. This is the Casemiro we all enjoy. But despite the Dutch manager insisting his issues with Sancho were in the past, the English winger failed to impress him enough in pre-season to make United's first Premier League squad. Moreover, Manchester United and Chelsea have been given a boost in their hopes of signing Ivan Toney. The Brentford striker has been left out of the matchday squad for their opening match of the season against Crystal Palace. Asked about the decision, B's manager Thomas Frank told Sky Sports, Things are happening for Ivan Toney so we decided not to involve him in the squad. There's interest, nothing closed yet, but things are happening. On the other hand, another player that could be leaving Old Trafford is Victor Lindelof. The Sweden star is out of favor with manager Eric Ten Hag and expected to leave Man United in the near future. Serie A giants Fiorentina are the latest club to show an interest in the defender, according to journalist Gianluca Di Marzio. Lindelof's contract expires next summer. Additionally, Panathinaikos are reportedly in advanced talks to sign Manchester United winger Facundo Pellistri. Bologna have also been linked with the 22-year-old Uruguayan, but Panathinaikos are now thought to be in pole position to recruit the 26-cap star. Transfer expert Fabrizio Romano claims negotiations are ongoing with the Greek giants over a permanent meal. On the other side, Scott McTominay has decided which club he wants to join, according to reports. The midfielder has been the subject of significant transfer speculation this summer. Galatasaray had a 12 millions of pounds bid for McTominay rejected by the Red Devils. While Fulham also failed with a 20 millions of pounds offer, as United told them to match their 25 millions of pounds asking price. According to transfer expert Alfredo Padula, McTominay has decided he wants to move to Napoli. Napoli chiefs have reportedly spoken to the Scots representatives and negotiations are ongoing. Scott McTominay has reportedly told Antonio Conte he wants a move to Napoli this summer. The 27-year-old Scotland international is entering the final year of his contract, and United are set to bring in another midfielder, with Manuel Ugarte linked. Team Talk claim that Napoli want to wrap up a deal for McTominay after they've signed Billy Gilmore. Meanwhile, Nusser Mazraoui impressed Gary Neville on his debut. The Sky Sports pundit said, Given that Fulham have pace in wide areas, and Old Trafford is a big pitch. This was Nusser Mazraoui's first game, he's only just joined the club. I thought he had a really good game. 